First time I met Peter was um, at uh, Red Rocks in Denver in 1986. The PGA Championship in um, Cherry Hills was that year. And uh, we played four nights at Red Rocks, as I recall. And uh, Peter brought a bunch of golfers up. And he brought them up either Wednesday or Thursday and set me up for uh, Sunday. So we got to watch the for right there at the 18th green to watch the, uh, the, the finish of the PGA Championship. And uh, we became friends. And we sort of stayed friends ever since. Jake is a special guy. I mean, he's f uh, uh, incredibly talented, first of all. I mean, he's obviously a fabulous golfer, but he can do lots and lots of other things. He's very bright. He's a great mimic. He's, a, he's got a, a sort of a, a show business instinct that's very keen. He's funny, he's, uh, and he's a sweet, sweet guy. He really is a special guy. We were playing a practice round for the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am, which we've played a number of times in. And I hit this bad shot, and I was upset, and I throw the club down. Just, you know, not, not over violently, but threw the club down. Well, Peter came from the other side of the fairway. He came over, he said, what'd you do? What did you do that for? I said, what? He said, why'd you throw that club? I said, well, because I was upset. I said, because I was pissed off. He said, let me tell you something. You're not good enough to be pissed off. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, is the moment we've all been waiting for. Here for you is my pal, Oregon's own, the one and only, Peter Jacobson. Sponsors. If I had three mulligans, I'd be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> when I started at the University of Oregon, I was so excited to be able to play for the golf team because of the history and the long tradition of great players that came out of the University of Oregon. From Craig Griswold to Jack Sheehan to Pat Fitzsimons to David Glenns, my brother-in-law Mike Davis. So for me to be able to play with those guys and follow in their footsteps was, was a great honor and a great thrill. And I always hoped I could live up to those great names and play like those players. And uh, I was fortunate that the University of Oregon gave me the, the platform to be able to play my, the best golf that I could and to get right, right on the PGA Tour, and I'm still on the tour today. Being at the University of Oregon and having the opportunity to compete at the highest collegiate level for four years really prepared me for what I faced the last 36 years when I've played on the PGA Tour and now the Champions Tour. When I first started on the PGA Tour, I was so fortunate to be thrown in with some great players like Arnold Palmer and Lee Trevino, two players that have helped me a, a great deal in my, in my career. Arnold Palmer because he took me under his wing and he taught me how to be a professional on and off the golf course. And there's nothing wrong with greeting everybody as though they were a, a long lost friend. And Lee Trevino, who taught me how to have fun on the golf course. Trevino said it only takes a minute to hit a golf shot. So take that minute, hit your golf shot, but then get out of the focus of golf. And if you want to talk to somebody behind the ropes or across the fairway, go ahead and do that. And that relaxes me like it relaxes him. And that's what I think has been the most important imprint in my career, is that I've always tried to embody the qualities that Arnold Palmer and Lee Trevino bring to the golf world. And I, I'm proud to call them my friends. Well, I'm very honored. The University of Oregon head golf coach, Casey Martin, announced that they're going to change the name of the Most Valuable Player Award on the Oregon golf team to the Peter Jacobson Most Valuable Player Award. And it's a great honor. And I want to thank the University of Oregon and especially Casey Martin for this great honor. The one thing that I feel m m most significant about my years and my time with the University of Oregon is that it's a real community. The passion that people have for the University of Oregon from football, basketball, track and field, golf, swimming, so it doesn't matter. And that's what I'm most proud of. I I'm an Oregon duck uh, through and through, all the way back to when my dad played football at Oregon, when I would sit in the stands at Autzen Stadium and watch Oregon, whether they won or lost, we're all ducks, and I'm proud to be a duck.